So one of the things I've been discovering that I'm kind of into lately in my work is not just the, like the colors or how I'm arranging things and the shapes and, every, and, and everything, but, but the actual paint and what happens to paint when it is, uh, well, when it's being itself, when it's uh, falling apart um, because it's on, it doesn't stick really well <laughs> to the surface. And uh, that's just become really interesting to me. Like there's the subject in whatever you're doing with your work, there's also the materials and how they look and what they're doing. And sometimes when that can become really interesting, when it becomes really interesting. So this is Nicholas Wilton in Art to Life. And today I thought I'd show you just this cool technique that I've been playing around with. Um, maybe it'd be something you would wanna try. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. And uh, so let me show you, it starts with creating a, um, some underlying material under the paint that's not very stable. So check it out. I've got this oil pastel. These are Sennelier oil pastels. Um, and oil acrylic doesn't stick to oil paint, uh, oil pastels. So that's where some of the problem, that's why the paint doesn't stick to it and it creates some interesting effects. So, you know, if you want to create something archival, don't do this, but I've been playing around with it and I think it's kind of cool. I've been using it in my work for a while, but, um, and I'll show you. So this is kind of what, what occurs where the paint um, deteriorates on top of it, but I'll show you how this kind of works. So um, I like to just, so just as a test, I'm going to put some marks down here. Um, now I'm not going to cover the whole picture um, with oil pastel, right? So this is just, some marks here that are going around. Okay, so now I've got this kind of cool line running through my picture. And the oil pastel is only here and the paint doesn't stick so well to that, but it sticks really well to this. And there's little holes in it where the paint can stick. So. Let me just show you. So what I first do is I put down, I'm grabbing some acrylic paint and I'm going to coat it, um, coat the whole thing with um, acrylic paint. And because it's oil pastel, it doesn't really smear right away. I used to always avoid uh, mixing oil and acrylic. Um, because they don't work well together. But that's sort of kind of what makes this interesting. <laughs> okay, so I put this paint on and it really sticks really well to the paper. Not so well to the oil paint, but it looks like it's sticking well now. So let me just blow dry this. I've dried this and it's pretty dry. And now I'm gonna just keep going. So, um, you know, I'd be painting layers or whatever, more, more stuff on here, but I'll just, uh, just for the sake of this, I'll just um, paint some cool shape on here. And I like to paint stuff that completely just ignores what I did underneath, because that's buried underneath. So I'll just. I'll just do some abstract kind of cool shapes. I like the fact that I've forgotten what I painted underneath. That's half the fun is like, it's going to, it's going to reemerge once I go back into it. But right now it just looks like a white piece of paper and I'm just painting, I'm just painting this red shape on it. A lot of times things that you don't remember are there or you're not aware of, they end up looking kind of cool because you're, it's not so contrived, you know? Um, this is uh, acrylic paint. This is um, uh, cadmium red light, by the way, on top of Lila's white, that kind of cream color. And all these paints are um, 
we sell in our store, but any acrylic paint will work. And we also sell the pastels, but um, you can get them from us or you can get them from, uh, the Sennelier is the brand. You can, uh, you can order them through, I think Vic Blick has them or a few other places. They don't, often don't have a lot of big range of colors. There's some amazing colors they come in, come in and we have quite a few of the colors. Um, I use them a lot in my work, in my acrylic a little bit like this, and then also in my oil painting. And by the way, the same thing can work in oil painting um, because they're, when you put them on thick, they're, it's not very stable. And that's what I love about it. So anyway, I'm just doing this kind of weird shape here. Okay, so now I take some of the thick, I just kind of get it really thick on there. And I'm gonna dry this, let it dry on there. Once your paper's heated up, it, it dries really quick. So I'm just kind of layering up. I'm gonna put some yellow on here. One of the things I think about, you know, like I wanna put this yellow behind this, some of these shapes. Um, but, in, so I, but instead of painting around it all, I don't know if you've found this, but this is what I tend to do. I tend to just paint what I want um, and then come back in with, the red. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Like it's easier for me to just paint this yellow and then I'll paint the red back on top of it. I just feel it's more free, right? Instead of having to paint around saving something. Anytime you, I feel like I'm saving something, it makes me stiff. So I'm just like drawing right over this thing. Okay. Okay, so you can see this is pretty dry now. But now I'm going back in and I'm just painting this back in. And you can see how much fresher that looks. That wasn't the point of this video, but this is a really, this idea I think is really cool. Like this is how much fresher it is when you don't have to paint around things. See that? And then sometimes you might want to end up leaving it, but anyway, I'm just, and I'm, what's happened is, you know, you get that richness, you kind of see through. I'm building up the layering and it's so clean now. Like there's no way I could have painted this edge like this. It just, it's kind of fun too, how that works. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna dry this. And of course you could do more and more and more, but I'm just for this to show you, um, let me just dry this. Okay, so now let's, let's dig back down. I'll show you what some of the ways I do that. Um, and start bringing out that pastel and that sort of underlying stuff. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll start um, and I'll sand, but I sand on top of tissue paper. Um, and it's weird, it's like, because I don't wanna, it just starts to, where there are bumps, it takes the big bumps and it, 
but the tissue paper is getting all the dirt on it. Well, I'll show you so. Okay. So now, believe it or not, there's it's been smoothed down a little bit, but um, um, there's a couple ways. I like to use a trowel, and let me get a piece of tissue paper here. Wipe off the extra because it starts to come up on the towel. So you can see how it's breaking through. Totally random where those marks come through. the richness of what's happening to this. It's also kind of cool to take a pencil. I do a lot of lines in my work, but Sometimes the pencil will bring in, will it, um, break through. What I love is that you can't control it and that it just starts getting really interesting. And you can see how that surface of that shape is coming through. Remember how we did that? How much better that looks? You can pull that up. Another reason for not painting around. So you can see so much of what I've made here, these really cool marks and what's happening, it's coming back through. What I like to do now when I get it to the stage I like, I take gloss medium and I either use a paper towel <clears throat> or a brush but I'll just do a nice coating on top of this just to stabilize it. And this is such a cool place for this to, I can then go back into it and keep going, layering on top of it. But I just love it. Like there's so much happening. It was so much more interesting now with all these marks and everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments if, uh, you know, what cool stuff you're working on. Also, for those of you who are new here, we have a free Art to Life Facebook group. Uh, you can jump in and join us in there. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. Hope you love this today. Um, let us know again in the comments what you're working on. Thanks. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.